What exactly is it that you do with the people that you get the opportunity to work with? Probably the the scene, if you want to set it, a lot of people would think of, um, you know, mental health counseling and, you know, that setting where you're sitting down talking with somebody about what's going on in your life, that type of thing. It's very similar to that. But instead of focus on your mental health, you're focused on your spiritual health. And mm-hmm. where is your relationship with God right now? The difference is that when you're treating your mental health, you're treating you and you're treating something possibly wrong with you. And in spiritual direction, you're not really, there's nothing really wrong with you, right? We're all on this journey of, you know, ebbs and flows and back and forth. You might be at stronger points of your faith than others, but in the end, it's not about there's being something wrong with you. It's about how can we connect better to God? Yeah. How do we build that relationship? And whenever you're in a session, instead of thinking of, it's just the two of us talking and having a conversation, I like to say that there's three of us there, that it's Mm. me, you, and the Holy Spirit sitting down to have a conversation, but really I'm the mediator. You're not talking to me. You're not trying to find how to have a better relationship with me. Mm. My goal is to help guide you through to, you know, your own thoughts and your own ideas of how do you better connect to the Holy Spirit and then obviously to Jesus through him. Yeah. So what are some of the ways that you do that? with somebody who maybe is coming to you and they're looking for advice. I know often if I'm like struggling with something, I'll go, I usually go to talk to somebody and I'm like, give me some advice on what to do, you know? And, uh, but I think that kind of defeats the purpose if I'm not mistaken. So is it just a lot of question asking or what's your process typically? And that can vary from spiritual directors. There's, I'd have to say <clears throat> most spiritual directors take a, what they call a reflective listening approach. So a lot of the spiritual directors mm-hmm. meet with will ask you a lot of questions to where if you, you know, open up about what's going on in your spiritual life, maybe your prayer life, and you'll be talking about, uh, you know, my, my relationship with God doesn't feel that strong right now. And they'll ask a question about, well, are you praying daily? You know, or, uh, how do you feel your prayer life is going right now? And just ask a question about it that will get you to talk more. The end goal of that is obviously to help you find the answer on your own. And for a lot of people, I think that's a perfect, perfectly fine way to do it. And uh, I'd say about half of what I do is that method. At the same time, I'm, yeah. I'm also a little more old school where I don't believe it's a, I don't believe it's wrong to actually be a little more directive where some people will come to me and they want advice. Yeah. They don't want just questions asked of them. They want practical, real advice. And I'm not going to tell them what decision to make in their life or should you marry this girl or take that job. It's more about I'm going to give them the tools and actual practical ways to discern that for themselves. So I'm not giving them the answer, but I'm going to help them find the ways to get to the answer. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from the Practical Theism podcast. If you enjoyed this clip and you want to check out the full episode, you can do so by finding it on our YouTube channel. Definitely consider subscribing and ringing that little bell so you can continue to get updates, notifications when we release new episodes and new clips just like this one. I hope to see you soon.